Hi, I'm Stacy. Welcome to the kitchen of my old Kentucky home. Today on Bourbon and Biscuits, we're going green for St. Patrick's Day. Let's get started. Let's make that Louisville favorite, Benedictine. Here's what we'll need. One cucumber, one onion, 12 ounces of cream cheese, a quarter teaspoon of salt, some mayonnaise, green food coloring, and Tabasco. I've already peeled our cucumber and now I'm just going to uh, need to seed it before we grate it. So we'll just get those seeds out of there. Okay, we're just gonna grate this cucumber and then we will also grate the onion. And we're just gonna need a tablespoon of the grated onion, but we'll use all of this full cucumber, sand seeds. Now we're gonna grate the onion and extract the juice, and we'll be using the juice of the onion. We've got our grated cucumber, our cream cheese, our tablespoon of grated onion, our quarter teaspoon of salt, and we'll just add a little splash of the mayo to taste here, like Jenny Benedict would have done. And we'll get this mixed well. And the final thing we'll do is add a little splash of Tabasco sauce and a little green food coloring. And there we'll have some Benedictine. You can always add more uh, green food coloring if you want. This is about the color I like to serve it at. So now we have a Louisville original Benedictine. I'm gonna get this plated up like we're gonna serve it at a party and Jessica's gonna make a bourbon cocktail she calls the Smiling Irishman. All right, so now for our cocktail, I've already got ice in my shaker here. So we are gonna do one ounce of Bailey's Irish cream. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of bourbon. Uh, I'm using Maker's Mark today because they've got a little bit of an Irish tie-in. You might notice on their bottle there's no E in the whiskey like they have on most American whiskeys, and that is a tribute to their Irish heritage. So, perfect. An ounce and a half of this. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of pistachio liqueur. I have De Monte here, which smells great. And then the last step here is we're gonna add a couple drops of green food coloring just to make it extra festive. Okay, I'm gonna give all of that a good shake. everything nice and chilled and when you do a uh, kind of a cream based liqueur like the Bailey's it's always good to give it a shake so finally I'm just going to strain this into my martini glass all right there you have it it's the smiling Irishman we know just, just like there are many versions of pimento cheese, mm -hmm. I feel like there are a lot of different spins on Jenny Benedict's original Benedictine that we did in a previous episode. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give it another go. You know, I really like this recipe. I feel like it's got a lot of like the bright cucumber flavor, real well balanced, and I like the texture too. So I think, we'll I think keep this it is in my favorite so far. Oh good, I think we'll definitely keep it in the rotation. Yeah, and so you knew I was gonna be making a Irish themed cocktail, so you supplied me with the name Smiling Irishman, but I didn't actually know there was a little connection with that. Yeah, well you know, I'm older, so I remember these things. <laughs> um, yeah, when I was growing up there as um, the smiling Irishman, the, the car dealer on television. And he was just, he had his green jacket and he was just, he was the man in the commercials. And so he died uh, just uh, in 2021 um, at 95. Oh wow. And you know, he was, he was not from Louisville, but he really, uh, he adopted Louisville as, as his home, lived here for well over 50 years. Um, apparently he was a World War II vet veteran that read in his obit. He had like fought, um, 
or survive kamikaze raids. Oh, wow. Uh, and then settle in Louisville and have the car dealership. But one of the most poignant things I think about his legend is, well, legend has it, that he gave Muhammad Ali his first car. Oh, my gosh, that's awesome. Which was kind of common for him to do. He liked to give celebrities cars. He had a radio show and all that. But I just thought it would be... That's um, a great time. Yeah. He's really a Louisville icon. Yes, he was. A true well, Louisville great. original. That's so, great. Uh, in tribute to Bob Ryan, the smiling Irishman. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>